This week, Dell EMC found its newest Canadian channel chief. AWS data centers are now open in Canada. And Toronto Mayor John Tory talks digital transformation. My name is Alex Radu. And I'm Paul Dunley-Bledo. I'm the editor of CDN Computer Dealer News. And this is IT World Canada's weekly update. Our first bit of news comes from Matt West as Dell EMC has gone to Vancouver to tap Deanna Thompson as the new Canadian Channel Chief, replacing Tara Fine, who is now the Channel Chief over at VMware Canada. Thompson is a 20-year Dell veteran with experience in sales and various leadership roles, including the past eight years as Dell's Channel Lead in Western Canada. I had a chance to speak with Thompson over the phone and she told me about her aggressive 90-day plan that will lead into the release of Dell EMC's Global Channel Program in February. To start, Thompson has a significant role to play in the combination of Dell EMC's enterprise and commercial organizations. The combining of these two organizations, which is being done for the purpose of easing communication between partners and sales, will be completed by the time February rolls around. However, Thompson's priority is to get out in front of as many Canadians uh, as she can, and she believes the partners are vital to the success and growth of Dell EMC. This stems from her core philosophy in the channel, collaboration. Thompson said, quote, my philosophy is one of building a very strong relationship at all levels of the organization, right from the top and all the way to the field. It's all about building relationships internally and externally so that we can facilitate in good business outcomes, both for partners and for our customers, end quote. Now, Paulo, you've been covering Dell EMC pretty extensively, including yep. speaking with uh, Dell EMC Global Channel Chief John Brin at Dell World right. in October. What are your thoughts on the news and how Dell EMC is uh, working in their direction? Well, you know, they really took their time in trying to find the right uh, channel uh, leader for, for this region. Uh, they had to replace a superstar and, and uh, Tara Fine, who uh, moved on to uh, another Dell property, VMware. She's a new VMware uh, Channel Chief for Canada. So, um, you know, you just can't replace uh, someone like Tara Fine overnight. So they, I, I believe they interviewed 25 uh, senior executives, uh, uh, some internal candidates and, and mostly uh, external candidates uh, to find the right uh, fit. And uh, from what I've heard about uh, Deanna, she's been running the, the western part of the, the country very, very well. And, uh, you know, we have to see how she, she maneuvers uh, for, for, this, uh, for this business. Um, the thing with uh, Dell in Canada is they're around 25% indirect business as opposed to direct business. Their history has been as a direct company. Now they're they're shifting dramatically to towards solution provider and uh, solution providers in the channel, so it's it's a good step, and they need a, a, a channel chief in place for every region, not just Canada, to make their their uh, their vision with between EMC and Dell uh, work okay. in the marketplace. All right, that's great. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. On the AWS side of things, Paul, you were at an AWS Canada event yesterday in Toronto for the launch of its Canadian data centers in Montreal. Well, it's, uh, they don't call it a data center, they call it a region, and the region uh, is more or less a cluster of data centers, which they call availability zones. And the reason why they call it a region and not a data center is because uh, they don't want it, they want it to have continuous action for all their customers, so the cloud never goes down, right? As opposed to other data centers which have a failover rate and things like that. So um, they're covering all their bases with this uh, new facility in, in Montreal. And it's open to channel partners. So channel partners can uh, get their customers on the cloud and also uh, help with migration services for the cloud and also sell some of the, we sell some of the AWS services like they have this new database called Aurora and it's becoming very, very popular. So um, uh, we don't know exactly how many data centers are in the Montreal facility but typically the AWS regions are between five and 20 data centers. They have uh, 14 in the US and many more uh, across the globe. Okay, and is this, uh, how does this affect channel partners moving forward? Well, I mean, the, uh, the, the cloud is really what's affecting the, the, the channel partners uh, because right now they've, they've been dealing with uh, their customers being on-premise and, and working out in uh, that environment uh, but, um, you know, there's a steady move foot to going to the cloud 
Some are going full bore into the cloud, 100% of their cloud. Some are doing it in hybrid fashion. Some on-premise technology, some on the cloud. Some are using it with a public cloud like a, an Amazon or a private cloud, uh, which is more internal. So these are all uh, factors uh, that uh, customers are, are putting forth to channel partners. For AWS, uh, they, they really need to uh, step up their game and get more of these types of channel partners. Because right now, they have a good set of born in the cloud partners, but they don't have that traditional strength from our top 100 list, CDN's top 100 list. So um, uh, now that they have this, this uh, region in place, it eliminates the biggest obstacle, which is data sovereignty, because most customers want their data and their apps in Canada. Now that this region is here, that question goes away. All right, so as Amazon and as Microsoft has in the past with yeah. data residency, is that problem now pretty much over? It's a moot point, really. Uh, Microsoft uh, unveiled two data centers, one in Ontario, one in Quebec, uh, for the same reason. Uh, you know, th it was an obstacle, it was a concern that a lot of uh, Canadian customers who are generally conservative by nature don't want their data uh, residing outside the country. And so that's why they invested the dollars to make these regions or data centers, whatever you want to call them, uh, to get customers to be more comfortable with the cloud here in Canada. Okay, so this moves on to our next and final point. Well, uh, yesterday at Technicity in downtown Toronto, uh, Mayor Do John Tory, to Toronto mm -hmm. Mayor, he spoke about the importance of digital transfer transformation in the workplace and in, and in cities like Toronto. Uh, Mayor Tory took the stage to tell a crowd of uh, city staff and tech industry veterans that the government can't afford to do business as usual and doing things the old way is no longer an option in terms of the cost of using technology versus the cost of not. To illustrate his point, Tory shared an anecdote from his recent visit to Israel where he made this pitch to international companies looking to expand in North America that Toronto is just as viable of a city to start in as New York City or Silicon Valley which Tory believes is something that the city of Toronto should have been doing before now and that we're kind of getting a little late to the game here. Right. Uh, and that's especially the case when uh, these companies, they never even looked at Toronto as an option, uh, which, is an which is one of those issues that Tory's trying to solve. Right. So Tory believes that we need to start being leaders in the industry instead of bystanders and it doesn't start and end in Toronto, whether it be Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary or any of uh, other uh, great Canadian cities. Everyone needs to embrace uh, digital transformation. If not, opportunities like Israel will continue to elude Toronto's grasp. He ended his speech with one final plea, quote, if I have a message for you today, it's this. Please help me by making sure that we move ahead with this as rapidly as possible. Don't let bureaucratic inertia or we've always done it this way or it'll wreck the system stand in the way of moving forward, end quote. Yeah, I, I totally agree with him. Uh, there's a move afoot in a lot of cities. So if you look at Barcelona, they're a completely digital city. Even a city like Mexico, which you would think, you know, be not in the class of Toronto, uh, is further ahead. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the mayor and even like the prime minister, uh, Justin Trudeau, is making lots of efforts to invest in uh, technology and uh, something called the Internet of Things, uh, to make this digital transformation happen. And it, it's, it's vi vitally important if they want to progress and become one of those great international cities where business is done in. Of course. All right, well, so that's all the time we have today. For more information on these topics, be sure to check out the links below. Thanks for watching IT World Canada's weekly update. I'm Alex Radu. I'm Paul Donigletto. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.